Oh, look! It's a box! It doesn't look very compatible! What was that you said, Mr. T-Rex? I said it doesn't look very... Compatible! Compatible? I would be so disappointed if the company that made this box told me I had to use a specific type of ammo with the products within this box. Me too! I wish it were more compatible! Arr! I be the fairy god pirate mother! You look even worse than last time. Arr, do you want a more compatible box or don't you? Yes, please. Bibbidi bobbidi boop! Well, how's that gonna help me? I don't know. Good heavens! It's a more compatible box with writing on it. Zuru Exxon. Royal Edition? What's that? Ooh, Goldie writing. It looks like the box the FedEx guy delivered to your door the other day! I wonder what's inside it. My little Nerf axe. Let's unbox it. Such an effective cutting tool. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, what's this? X-Shot Challenge. Find a few friends, dig through the package and get started. Well, that sounds interesting. You will need a drink bottle. How about an old can of end-up fruit beer? Or even one of them. And fast feet. That's pretty fast. I did go running this morning. Okay, let's see what's in the box. It's a bubble wrap. Gotta love that bubble wrap. What is this? Good heavens above, it's gold. Look at this, that is so golden. I've never seen an Earth Blaster so shiny. Meteor RX-8. 0060, 100 FPS, 30 MPS. So they're actually making these claims here on the blaster itself, which, well, they might do. Last time I checked, this blaster was performing roughly that, so at least they're making accurate claims. Oh, look, it's compatible. Compatible and 12 rounds. Come on, Hasbro, they're catching up. So I think the back of the box is pretty much exactly the same as the standard Meteor box, but it's so golden and shiny. Look, it's shiny down there as well. Time it like that and then load it like that. It says six balls, but as I remember, you can get about eight in there. So, X-Shot Chaos, nothing on the bottom, X-Shot Chaos. That is absolutely awesome. I'll unbox that in a second. Hey guys, my name doesn't work in my opinion. What do you mean Ro Royale? I can see why they've tried to do the Royale thing because Battle Royale and Fortnite. To be fair, every random company and their dog's trying to do it. I'm actually gonna include that in the video too. Let's see what else is in the box. More bubble wrap, what is this? X-Shot Royale Edition Toolbox, I guess. Come on, out you come. There is so little space in this. I've seriously got to clean this area up again. There we go, that goes on there. Let's open this up. Good heavens, there's another one in there. They've given me two. Look at all these. My goodness. Not only have they given me those 12, they've sent me more chaos balls than you can shake a muffin at. And some t-shirts as well. That looks kind of funky. Open up this t-shirt here. Look at this. Ooh, there's a t-shirt. X-Shot League, anything on the back? And X-Shot League on the back as well, just in case you weren't sure. I'm going to try and do one of those transitions things where I throw the t-shirt onto myself and it just works. Three, two, one. It worked! I learned that from TikTok. And another t-shirt. Tactical Tank can have that one. There. Magic. What about me? <laughs> You're welcome, Mr. T-Rex. Comparing these side by side, you can see the bottom bit where you load in the ammo is no longer orange. It's now gold. So the handle, the mag, and the main shell of the blaster is no longer black, it's blue. And the bits that were blue are now this awesome goldy colour. The orange bit at the front is still orange. Rotac rail orange, Rotac rail gold. And iron sights gold too. Everything else on the blaster looks to be exactly the same, including all the switches and all that kind of stuff. Damn door is also gold. So I remember seeing a bunch of content creators getting these a few months ago, or maybe last year, I can't remember now. Lockdown and babies, it's crazy. So I guess X-Shot have released these now to the general populace. I wonder where they're available. If you know where these are available please comment below i think it's about time to take this out for a test fire pretty sure that's how the game's meant to work ow T-Rex taking a bath there in some pure compatibility. Just in case you're not familiar with how the Meteor works, you have a jam door right here which can remain open or closed during the firing process. Safety here, if you push that in, the trigger won't compress. Now it does compress. Rounds are loaded into the clip there. One, two, three, four, five, 
sick. And then there's a little clip thing here, which you pull up. That's now loaded, and then that's now loaded, and they're not going to fall out. That one fell out. Just there's a little tooth inside here, which wasn't quite on the right side of the ball. I'm not going to fire that at the camera because bad news. The second way to load this blast is to pull the tooth up and let the tooth rest there, and then load the balls in. One, two, three. Push them all the way in. Four, five, six, and if I remember correctly. Seven, eight. Once you've done that, you press this button, which allows the kind of spring in the tooth to retract. Now, once you've adjusted your target range, use only official nerf darts. Compatibility guy. Zombie hands. Whoops. Pressing that button there, and up it goes. Zombie hands. Nerf logo. Zombie strike guy. Nerf bottle. Tin of haggis. It hit, but it is a full tin of haggis, to be fair. Reloading. Other zombie strike guy. NW root beer. Awesome, both at the same time. X Shot Chaos logo. Other Zero X Shot logo. And the deploy for fun. I'm not going to lie, the Exot Chaos Meteor is a phenomenal blaster anyway, but the fact is gold now is absolutely superb. Obvious comparisons to be made with this guy right here. Now are these compatible with that? Yes, yes they are. And to be honest, they don't seem to be hitting as hard out of this as they do out of this for some reason. Granted, these have been made specifically with this blaster in mind, which might kind of partially explain it. Meteor's profile is slightly larger than the Kronos, but the Kronos isn't as gold and shiny as this. And also, this can hold three more balls than the Kronos can. And there's something to be said for that. By the way, if you do overfill this, and I've just managed to fill this with nine balls. That's nine balls! 50% more than claimed. Then you are going to need to press this little button here regularly to keep on releasing the spring as you go down. Well, Kronos has hop up, this guy has hop up too. It's a little bit further back, I don't know if you can quite see it. There is a little lip which is designed to spin the ball backwards. That means that if your blaster isn't completely straight at the time of firing, then the balls will spin off in the direction, then the balls will spin off in the direction that you kind of lent it. So if you lean it this way, the ball's gonna spin off that way. If you lean it that way, the ball's gonna spin off that way. The same as soccer players use, the same as football players use, or soccer players. Now a couple of those shots came very, very close. And bear in mind that this camera is a very, very small target. The camera is only about this big. So bearing in mind what I was aiming at, some of them came very, very close indeed. Some of them didn't, but we're flinging foam here, not firing real steel. Deal with it. Do you know of those shots here either? And I call myself a basketball player sometimes. There we go, that one did. And so once again, the way this is designed to work, you pull this down, and then you load it up with balls, and then you press this button to force the balls up into the firing chamber. Loading a ball in, and then pressing this button, whoops, this button, and up it goes. That's this button here, sorry, this button here. Do put eight balls in this, and then press the button. This button isn't actually then gonna force all those balls up into the firing chamber. You're gonna have to press it again after a couple of shots. Just one difference between this and that. That doesn't have one of those buttons to press. That just kind of feeds automatically. But that said, if you do just put five balls in here, then press the button, it works fine. So you're only pressing the button for your extra bonus balls. The price point of this in the UK at the moment is somewhere between 20 and 15 pounds. So if this is coming in round about 20 and 15 pounds, even just the regular version of the Meteor is still a pretty decent blaster, bearing in mind the extra two or three balls capacity that you're gonna get. 
set two if you're conservative, three if you're a bit of a mad lad. In terms of the finish, the Goldie effect is phenomenal. This probably will chip off eventually because it's going to be some kind of enamel. See the slight scuffing effect actually where I've opened and closed the jam door a couple of times, but it's golden and it's beautiful. Now tactically, there's something to be said for this. I'm out of ammo! Right, you're now. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Oh, I'm blind! There's something to be said for that. To be fair, when I was out in the sun playing with this earlier, it really, really does like shine quite brightly. I wonder if I can get the effect here. I can't tell if this is shining at the camera right now, but anyway, it might do it. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's there. There you go. Look at that. Look at that shiny effect. Isn't that gorgeous? Shiny. Shiny. More shiny. Whoa. Please feel free to go and see the silliness I've started doing on TikTok on a regular basis. Very regular basis. Family and babies come first. Actually, it's very sensible and deep sometimes. Thanks to X Shop for sending me these gorgeous blasters. This is Just a Jolt, signing off. Three, two, one. Okay. The face was necessary, by the way.